every injury has three phases and if you interrupt the injury in the first two phases you have a higher success rate in a total healing situation so the three phases are acute just after the injury happened that is where you see the uh, effects of the injury whether it's swelling bruising lacerations scrapes abrasions that's the acute phase it just happened and then the following three to six weeks then the chronic phase happens when the injury has affected you to such a degree that you change a movement pattern and when you change the movement pattern your muscles are no longer working in the sequence they were designed to work in so that starts to lay down the chronic phase of the injury say you limp because it hurt so bad the initial injury but you keep limping a little bit a little bit and every time you limp there is compensation happening so the next joint in line two joints up there's going to be a little more wear and tear over time and we're talking extended periods of times months or years that can become the last phase which is degenerative Degenerative means there's a physical change in the joint that's affected. It can be something as simple as a bone spur. It can be bone on bone where there should be a cartilage cushion. So bone on bone means that the cartilage has been wear, worn away. That is a physical change in the injury phase. So there's also what happens is when there's so much chronic pain, wear and tear, that the joint will actually fuse and the entire joint will calcify. We see this a lot in the spine. If you've ever known someone that 30 years ago they were tall, they had good posture, and over time they bend forward, bend forward, and there's the hunch on their back. Well, sometimes that loss of segmentation in the spine leads to calcification and fusion of the individual vertebra. So the three phases are acute, chronic, and degenerative and if we interrupt on the first two phases we have a higher success rate in treating and eliminating the issue at hand.